carry a Glock that's half the size, half the weight, and more rounds? You can carry a Glock that's half the size, half the weight, and more rounds, but here's the problem with a Glock that's half the size, half the weight, and more rounds. If you were to put a hollow point, brand new hollow point RIP in there, right? You know what the RIP rounds are? Okay, most of the time nowadays, they're going to jam that weapon or make that weapon explode. Like what? Yes. The RIP rounds, rest in peace rounds, they're having a problem with Glock right now. I can stick a 45 caliber 1911 RIP round in there and you're going to be done. What are you doing, Jared? Are you sure? Why yes. aren't you listening? Have you ever shot anyone with a 45? Have I ever shot anyone with a 45? No. Okay. But I'm trained to shoot somebody with a 5.556 round. Which is... Um... It's a whole nother level. level. It's completely different. Right, yeah. But here's the deal. Would I rather have a 9mm fucking piece of shit Beretta or the 45, which might not have the distance, but if you're close enough, I've got the stopping power, I would take the 45 every day. Jared. Should we shut him up now or wait? Every day. Okay. He's your friend. Now, my <laughs> is I put the, um, the predator. Walls, my friend compensator on it and it gives me the increase to it and the recoil control. It's a, it, it will drive nails compared to that M9 if, if you fucking can, Beretta. If you can hold steady and squeeze when you're getting shot at that. Can you hold steady and squeeze and he's a bitch. When you're getting shot at? When you're about to die? No, when you're getting shot and you're about to die. Can you hold Did you just call Jared you? a bitch? Which, you, pre which you prefer, your Beretta or my, my 1911? I prefer the 1911. Thank you. Oh, Jared. a terrible shot with it, though. Why would he call you a bitch? Because he likes to hurt my feelings. Because he's a If I'm shooting right now. Oh, there's the reason. There, there it came. There it is. Way better than any. It's the Pogue. You're a Pogue, Jared. Which one were you, uh... You're probably going to get, like, more kills during this little expedition than me. So, but you're going to be a Pogue. I'm a Pogue, though. Yeah, you're going to be a Pogue. I'm laughing because he's like, you're probably going to get more kills than me. Like I'm probably going to die more times than I get kills. <laughs> so, like, I just wanted to videotape. <laughs> I just wanted to get some, you know, video evidence of the 1911 knowledge. Well, I already walked him through it. Oh, yeah. he's, he's arguing with me. It, Glock, Glock lovers will argue with you all Ian, I like 1911s more than Glock. Did you remember what he taught you? I don't carry one, but I shoot them on a level. You shoot a 1911, but you like the 1911 more than the Glock? How many will your 1911 hold? How many will hold? Yeah. How big is your magazine? So you could put 11 in some of your 1911s. Single stack? I'm not going to argue. Yeah, it's gigantic. This loss is fun. If you hit somebody with a hollow... It's getting boring now. I told you. I figured this would happen. You buried something getting back up. You knew this going in. I just w <sighs> no more than nine millimeter. If I no offense, Jared. Yes. How many gigabytes you have on this thing? I'm just wondering. What? How many gigabytes you have on this thing? I'm just wondering. I got a lot. Check the gigabytes, Harold. Got, you got, may not have enough. I got eighty thousand k. You may I not have enough for this knowledge instruction session. It's gonna make a difference. I just want to get. I just want to chronicle this. Uh, there is an attempt by Zach to school Ian on the 1911. I won't argue that. The, the firearm that Ian is most experienced with using and the most accurate with any shot ever since he was uh, 11. a lot easier to kill somebody with a 45. But he's playing dumb. Loser! <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm 